Okay, so now we're going to specify the boundary conditions. The boundary, the, the boundary conditions that I will specify can also be found in the pre-analysis section. First, we're going to put a fixed support on the rigid plate. Now, if you remember, we modeled this as we meshed it as a one giant mesh, a one giant element, that is. So there's no difference between doing a fixed support on any of these four edges or doing a fixed support on the entire face. For me, I'm going to impose a fixed support on the entire face. Click apply. Now, we are also going to put a displacement condition along this edge. I'm going to say the horizontal displacement at these at, at this edge is going to be zero. We can make this assumption because this is the axis of symmetry, so it cannot move in the horizontal direction. So we're going to set the X component to be 0 and we're going to click on the edge icon, click on these two edges. We can select multiple edges by holding down the control button on your keyboard and we click apply. And finally we're going to impose the external load. We're going to put a point load onto the vertex onto the tip of the hemisphere. So under loads we click on force and we click on the vertex icon. Clicking on the vertex of the sphere and we hit apply and in our example we're going to have a downward force with magnitude of 60 pi newton. Under defined by, we're going to change from vector to components. So we click on negative 188.5 newtons. So we've fully specified the boundary conditions. And for convenience, we're going to rename this as downward force.